You see, if we could save ourselves, if we were good enough to get to heaven, then there would be no means and no story in history of the birth and the suffering and the death and the burial in the resurrection of Jesus Christ. If we could save ourselves, you would not celebrate Christmas if we could save ourselves. Jesus Christ need not be born of a virgin if we could save ourselves. Jesus Christ would not have to die and be buried and arise from the grave three days and three nights according to the scripture if I could save and if you could save yourself. Because then we could do whatever we needed to do for salvation. But since we cannot save ourselves, there is no means for us to get to heaven on our merit that Jesus Christ was born of a virgin of the tribe of Judah of the nation of Israel and he lived 33 and a half years and he suffered and he died according to the scriptures and he was buried and he arose again the third day according to the scriptures. That is because you can't save yourself. God left his throne and was born in a manger. God left his throne and was born in a manger because you can't save yourself. You can't do it. Again, I hear people all the time, I'm good, I'm good. The Bible says there is none that doeth good. Come over here, I will open to the book of Romans and I will show you in the scriptures you're not good enough to save yourself. I will show you that you're not righteous enough to get to heaven without the merit and without the blood of Jesus Christ. There is no salvation of God without the blood of Jesus Christ. Being Baptist being Catholic, Presbyterian, Charismatic, that's not going to save you. There are no denominations in the Bible. John the Baptist was not your first Baptist. There is no Catholic in the Bible. But there are Christians who are Christians indeed by the finished work of Jesus Christ. A Christian is somebody that says, hey, I'm a Christian. No, a Christian is someone who has put their faith and their trust in the finished work of the blood of atonement upon Calvary's hill by God, the Son of God, the Lord Jesus Christ. That there is no atonement for our sins but by the Lamb of God that take away the sin of the world. You see, we are sinners. For the Bible says, 
all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. There is none righteous. You will not get to heaven by what you do. You will not get to heaven by a denomination. You will not get to heaven by a church. Baptism will end quickly into hell if it's your salvation. But the Bible says to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Questions from what? Saved from what? What? What do I need to be saved from? You need to be saved from the place called hell. In the absence of God. Because when you reject Jesus Christ, you reject God. And you reject going to heaven. When you say, I'm good, you are saying you are gooder than God himself, the good. That the Bible says there is none that doeth good. You see, your good is not the standard of the Bible of being good. The Bible standard of good is much higher than your standard of being good. Because God's goodness standard is a means of holiness. And the Bible says there's none that doeth good, you don't do holy. You don't do righteousness. The Bible says there's none righteous. So, acceptance of you into heaven by your religion, by your goodness, whatever it is outside of Jesus Christ is anti scriptural. It won't happen. And there will be people at the great white throne judgment. They thought they were saved. They thought they were good. They thought their church. They were baptized. But they did not believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. If you want to go to heaven and you don't want to go to hell, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. That simple. It's that simple. April 25th, 1987, I trusted Jesus. I've been preaching since April 26th, 1987. The day I got saved, the day after I got saved, I was already preaching about hell. I was a Roman Catholic. I was a Polish Roman Catholic. I was one of the elite Catholics, Polish. Some of the popes are Polish. They're Polish in salvation. That didn't save me. The Catholic Church I grew up didn't save me. Faith 
and belief beyond the church and the gospel that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day, that is what saved me. I believed on April 25, 1987, I believe that's all by Jesus and nothing by me. I came out of religion and I came into Jesus. You can come out of religion. You can come out of a church and you can come to know Jesus. By believing on the Lord Jesus Christ. And thou shalt be saved. You will not get to God's heaven without God. That's like ordering a chocolate chip ice cream with no chocolate chips. And each bite, oh, I'm hoping to find a chocolate chip. I'm hoping to get a chocolate chip. And there are no chocolate chips. And there is no heaven without the one that made heaven. The one whose throne is in heaven. You're not going to get to heaven outside of God, Almighty God. And his way to get into his heaven is through his death and burial and resurrection that you believe upon the blood of the finished work of Jesus Christ. Now the blood of Jesus Christ is not to be taken orally. Throughout the Bible, the eating of blood is an abomination. The mass of the Catholic Church is an abomination to the Scriptures. You're not eating the blood of Jesus for salvation. You're eating the blood of Jesus Christ to damnation, to condemnation, and not salvation. Jesus Christ came to seek that which is lost. And if you have never put your faith and trust in Jesus, you are lost. If you got your faith in a religion, you are lost. If you got your faith in a baptism, you are lost. If it's your own self that's going to get you to heaven, you are lost. And Jesus came to seek that which is lost. Jesus, who is God, is offering to you God's heaven. And God's heaven is through God's blood. The Lamb of God will take away the sin of the world. Where there is no blood, there is no remission. You say, well, preacher, that blood is bloody, it's messy, it's... Yeah, but that blood is the only thing that will get you into heaven. If you don't have God's blood as a salvation, you are not going to God's heaven. If you don't have the salvation of Jesus Christ, you're not going to Jesus' heaven. You go to religious hell. You go to a humanistic hell. You'll go to a Republican hell, a Democrat hell. Because Republicans and Democrats can't save your soul. Donald Trump is the wrong Trump. President Biden is a president, but he's not the savior. There's no hope in a pope, only Jesus saves. Your pastor, your priest, your rabbi can't save your soul. I can't save your soul. 
Don't you dare walk up to God and say, God, I heard that man preach every Saturday morning, and by that man's preaching, no, I can't save you. But the Jesus Christ that I preach, the Jesus Christ who shed his blood, is able to save your soul. Not me, not a priest, not a pastor, not a rabbi, not nobody, no guru. But the Son of God, who is God? Jesus Christ. That's the one that's able to save you. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And thou shalt be saved. If you want to please God. The chastisement of Jesus Christ. Please God. He took on our iniquities. He took on our sins who knew no sin. Jesus Christ, the way, the truth, and the light. That is what you're to believe for salvation. You cannot and you will not get to heaven outside of the belief and trust in Jesus Christ. You're not going to satisfy God, but by the satisfaction of God and the death and burial of Jesus Christ and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. That is what satisfied God. The blood of Jesus Christ, the blood of God, is the satisfaction of redemption of God buying you back from Satan. The church did not pay for your redemption. Baptism did not suffer. Your religious leader did not come out of the grave. But Jesus Christ who suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. That is God. That is by your faith and belief will get you into heaven.